Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. Our weekend shows are in English. Today we start with the propagation bulletin of the RSGB. In addition to that, in the last half minute of the bulletin, we have another cartoon in SSTV. Hello, this is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News. And now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar and Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha on Friday the 22nd of January. We had yet another week with unsettled geomagnetic conditions. This time the KP index hit 5 on Wednesday and even 6 on Thursday caused by a plasma emission from the sun with a prolonged southward facing BZ field. This was a shame as the field had been very settled on Monday with a KEP index of zero, which usually bodes pretty well for good HF conditions. On Monday, the critical F2 layer frequency, as measured by the Chiltern Ionosonde, hit 6.8 MHz at noon, giving a predicted maximum usable frequency of about 21 MHz. By Wednesday, it was 7.6 MHz, giving an MUF of about 25 MHz, over 3,000 km. Now, this shows that, perversely, a higher K-index can sometimes result in better conditions, as the initial onset of solar plasma can cause a positive phase with better maximum usable frequencies before the subsequent negative phase with depressed MUFs, noisy bands and auroral conditions. The moral of the story is that the best thing to do is to monitor the HF bands as often as you can, as you never really know what you're going to hear. The forecast for next week is for much of the same, with a further high risk of unsettled geomagnetic conditions at times, especially on the 28th and the 29th. And now the VHF and upwards propagation news. The edge of a high-pressure system sits well to the east over the continent, so stations in the south and east of the country could get some enhanced conditions this coming week. The second half of the week looks best, with the F5 LEN tropo maps showing a long, narrow finger of enhancement over southern England into the low countries and the southern Baltic. This could link up with the Azores High, providing slightly enhanced conditions into western France, Spain and Portugal. Otherwise, the bulk of the country offers windier weather with low pressure and frontal rain bands with not much tropo on offer for VHF and UHF. However, some active weather fronts could introduce the prospect of some rain scatter on the gigahertz bands. We're now in the year's quiet period for meteor activity, extending from early January until the Lyrid shower at the end of April, so it's back to early mornings waiting patiently for the random meteors to provide fleeting low VHF DX opportunities. Moon declination is falling right now and goes negative on Thursday, and with Apogee next Saturday, path losses will continue to increase throughout the week. And that's it from the propagation team for another week. A new UK 134 GHz DX record was set by Ian, Golf 8 Kilo, Quebec Whiskey, and John, Golf 8 Alpha Charlie Echo, who achieved 35.6 kilometres on the 16th of January over a line of sight path between Cheesefoot Head and Chute Causeway. Signals were 10 dB above noise level at best. The key enabler for success on this extended distant record contact was lower path loss due to less water vapour attenuation courtesy of a low temperature, 2.5 degrees Celsius and a dew point of 1 degrees Celsius. This was sufficient to overcome the approximate 9 dB increase in free space path loss attenuation over the previous record path. And congratulations go to both. In response to requests from affiliated clubs, a subtitled version of the popular video Amateur Radio, a hobby for the 21st century, is now available. The subtitles may be helpful when the video is shown in a noisy environment, for example, and that can be downloaded from the RSGB website at this humongous website address. I'm going to try my best here. It's rsgb.org slash main slash get hyphen started hyphen in hyphen amateur hyphen radio slash amateur hyphen radio hyphen 
a hyphen hobby hyphen for hyphen the hyphen 21st hyphen century sorry i couldn't help myself there how many hyphens did we need The American Amateur Radio League, or the ARRL, Board of Directors, elected a new president on the 15th of January during the board's annual meeting. Rick Roderick, that's Kilo 5 Uniform Romeo, has been licensed for 48 years and is an ARRL life member, and he served on the board for 24 years. The sitting president, that's K, November 3 Kilo November, is stepping down after three terms in office. Australia Day is on the 26th of January and radio amateurs may choose to substitute their call signs VK prefix with AX, Alpha X-Ray. Australian amateurs will get to do this twice again this year, once on Anzac Day on the 25th of April and also on International Telecommunications Day on the 17th of May. The Australian Communications and Media Authority automatically grants amateurs use of the prefix for the duration of the named celebrations. 